So we've got a tire jingler. Here's the bits that we're going to use. A little bit of Coke de Leon. A very nice Coke cape. And some porridge. And this is the thread I like to use for my bodies. It's a light car hill. So Partridge Patriot on the vice. Just wind on. Just a bit of beyond the hook shank, you can see where that's sitting there. Just beyond the, the hook point, sorry. And I'm just gonna take some Cock de Leon. Like so, same length as the, the body, just come in, a pinch and loop, a couple of turns and then wind it all the way back up, and neat touch and turns, stopping two thirds of the body there, and with the snips, pull it the back, and just with your fingers, Give the thread a rub. Puts a little bit of colour in it, the oil of your fingers. The other thing you do, believe it or not, is um, a little bit of lead and just rub that. And it takes a little bit of that colour, believe it or not. You can see it there. And you just get that a little bit darker. Rub with your fingers, a little bit darker. In with the cock cackle. Don't be scared to use this big. Let's separate some fibres. Try that in. One wrap to lock it. And we're going to have. This is a big fly, so. I'm probably going to have two. Sorry, three, four wraps. Come in. I'm not sure if you've seen that stem burst. Back in. Right, let's try that again. And just make sure you're quite neat with this bit. Three. Four, and then come in and lock it. You see with this feather here now, I've got plenty there to use for some more. Just strip the any stray fibres, strip them back. So, and now I'm your partridge and just scrape the flute away. And with my hackle pliers, I'll just come in here. tips away and you catch that in and what you're doing is you're rolling it convex most flies concave jingler convex so so a little loop there catch that in put the stray end away now just to keep everything tiny, I'll one wrap here. Just keeps everything out of the way. And then, with the hackle pliers. The feather doesn't really want to go back away, but 
if you can just stroke those fibres back and take a turn stroke them back take a turn stroke them back take a turn now you can see I'm getting quite a bit to the, the thick base of the, the feather there a couple of working turns and then just in my snips Tidy up the head. Winding the thread back into the part ridge. And then just a little bit of varnish. And I'm doing dry flies like this, I like to come in give it a proper coat. It's also got the added benefit of pushing that hackle away for the eye. It comes through a little bit of wire now put all those fibres forward and then you get to see exactly what a jingler should look like.